Okay. That is like super obnoxious. Alright, we're just going to be doing a super high speed thing. Excuse me, are you Pixia? Ah, you must be the handyman. Did you see my request? I know you must have a lot going on, but would you please listen to what she has to say? Sure. Alright, can you tell me about the job? Sure, so I'd like you if you could procure some pigments. Pigments, you mean paint? Well, Pixie and I are actually aspiring artists. She specializes, Pixie specializes in painting, and I specialize in sculpting. I've been wanting to come to Remnant Isle for a long time. I thought seeing such incredible things, such as ruins and falling star, falling ruins and star fragments, would be a great inspiration. But, uh, um, come now, Pixie. She actually lost all of her, all of her art supplies on the voyage over. I dropped my brushes and everything else into the sea when we got hit by a big wave. Plus, Horolo's fleas poked through my drawing paper. That's rough. If it was just art supplies, I could use substitutes. I can draw with my fingers if I need to, but without any pigments, it's impossible. I just need red, blue, and yellow to be able to make most of the colors. Hmm, now that you mention it, I don't think the general store has any, so as long as you have red, blue, and yellow, you'll be set? Yep, that's right. Are you sure you'll be able to find any? Pigments are normally found in the strata of high mountains, you know. And the village seems like it could use your help. You don't have to force yourself for our sakes. No, I'll try to find what I can. It's true that it's a tough time for Eartha. But handling this sort of thing is my job. Then for the sake of my artistic takeoff, please lend me a hand. Oh, Pixie, you're so... Well, if you're going, good luck. Yep, leave it to me. Three kinds of pigments. Red, blue, and yellow. Maybe I'll have better luck in Terra. Let's go about finding them. So much stronger than any of my other spells. No way, now you took perfect timing. Uh, what happened? We saw your request. It's related to my administrative duties, but I could really use a hand. If you don't mind, are you free now? Yeah, I should be. Hey, Nayuta. Yeah? You don't, you know, have to force yourself to do this. I'll handle this, so you can go ahead and take a break. Nayuta's been tired because of what's happening with his sister. <laughs> Thanks, Noe. But I'm alright. I'm not going to let this get the better of me. I'm sorry to ask you for your help at a time like this. You just let me know if now isn't a good time, Nayuta. Are you free? I am. Sure, I can help. What do you need? Thanks, I really owe you one. It's about some of the creatures here. Don't tell me, did something happen in Reeswald? Yes, I was surveying the presence of the creatures from here when I realized the moonlit birds have disappeared. Disappeared? You mean they've gone extinct? Oh no. No doubt it's because of Zext. Most likely, but it may also be a result of the anomaly. The messed up climate definitely affected the moon and bird populations. Not to mention, when the star energy was stopped, even if it was temporary, it is the source of life. So that led to their extinction. I didn't know something like that happens here, too. It's my fault, all because the Master Gear was stolen. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Lady Kreha. But we're not without hope yet. Here, Nayuta. Aerislite gave Nayuta a bird's nest with a few eggs inside. Are these eggs from the moonlit birds? Yes, I managed to protect some of them. If the eggs hatch safely, we'll be able to see the moonlit birds in Terra again. That's why I need your help. What should we do? First, find an environment in which the eggs can hatch safely. Their eggs hatch in the coldest possible places. As long as they can survive the harsh environment, they'll hatch when the weather warms. It's a characteristic unique to their species. I see. Our world has birds with similar biology. I believe they're called penguins. Now that we got the Master Gear back, the climate in Reeswell is back to normal. There's sure to be a perfect place for the eggs. And you can make it a warmer climate by using the astrolabe. With that, you'll be able to hatch the moonlit birds in a shorter period of time. I see, so that's your request. Yep, pretty much. I know it's kind of my job, but I can't leave the temple right now. Don't worry, Aerislet, we'll take care of it. Come on, it's time to find a place in Reeswell during winter where we can hatch these eggs. I'm counting on you both. If you hatch them successfully, please come and let me know.
Alright, so I just realized that I skipped a bunch of dialogue when we came back to town. All that basically was, was... People, um... <clears throat> Noise-sensing humans in our house. Because Eartha has visitors. And Noise saying, maybe humans aren't so barbaric after all, but... It, it'd be best if I wait here. And then she waited there. My room power cut out again. So that's why I had to restart the stream. Number three, yep. Oh, cool. And I am actually trapped here. Awesome. That's cool. That is beyond obnoxious, but that's cool. Back in there and do it again. I just want to run away and get out of here.
Yeah, sorry if I'm not like 100% into it right this second. Still pretty annoyed at what happened. I didn't find the damn chest. I didn't find the damn chest. Where the hell is the damn chest? Oh my god, I know where the freaking chest is. chest is right here. Oh, I almost died. Again. <laughs> 